Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install and use different user interface themes within Atom. So let's get going on that right now. If you've used text editors before, like Sublime Text, you'll know that changing your theme in something like Sublime isn't necessarily that easy. I mean, it's easy, but it's not something that is totally painless. First, you would have to get either some sort of theme by downloading it and by dragging a folder into another folder in Finder, or you would have to get package control and install some sort of theming or maybe just install the theme that way and then enable it by editing a JSON file. Now, in Atom, it's much different. In fact, out of the box, like we already saw with color schemes, you have a tab for themes. And here we have the syntax theme, but we also have the UI theme. Now UI themes are great because they also come with their own settings. When you click the settings, it takes you to the page that will show you some more information about that theme where you can have some little tweaks here to a particular theme. In addition, you can actually see uh, the readme for the theme, which often gives what it looks like itself. Now, what is a UI theme? The UI theme changes all sorts of things that aren't essentially with your basic syntax colors. It's going to be changing the overall look of your editor and even some little small things in the interface. So let's go ahead and install by clicking themes. And I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for material design UI theme to go with the color scheme that we've already enabled. Now you see we have Atom Material UI. This one has 218,000 downloads. So that's a lot, which should mean that it's pretty good. Now we can come here now that it's installed and head to our themes. And just like with our syntax theme, you now should find Atom Material into your list right here. Upon selecting it, we've seen some things change. We now have what looks like different icons. We have different highlighting. We have a different font. We have different overall spacing and padding. And you'll notice we select things. We even get some animations that didn't exist. This button animation, this animation of the line right here. Now what's cool here is we can head back to themes. And let's select this uh, Atom Material UI. And we can see we have some settings. We can just disable animations if they're taking up too much of our CPU or anything like that. We could have slim scroll bars instead of heavier scroll bars. We could use an accent color in the ripple effect. Now you could even show the file type icons in the tabs. I actually like to have this in the active tab. Sometimes I like to have it in all tabs. However, having the file type icon is just nice to have. We could make tabs have a minimum width. I, I don't need that, so I can leave that. Normal, we can set the size of the tab bar. I'm gonna like set mine too small. I don't need them to be big. You just sort of need to see them. And you could set the UI font size. Regular is fine with me. Now it's asking if you wanna use Roboto Mono for the font in the text editors or use the Roboto font in the UI. I like this font. If you select it, it looks nice in here. However, I don't know about the mono because I sort of like the font that Atom comes with by default. In addition, you can compact the tree view, get rid of some of the padding there. That's a nice thing to save you some space if you need it. We can add some depth to the UI, which is basically adding shadows, which personally I enjoy as well. When you have these sidebars that sort of all blend together, it isn't as nice to me as when you have some sort of a distinction. And the drop shadow is a nice subtle distinction. Now you can also add contrasting panels, which takes that further and it turns this color a bit of a, a less saturated, more of a gray color. Now in addition, we can actually set our accent color ourselves. So right now it's set to teal. We have all sorts of options depending on what you like. Now personally, as a level up tutorials fan, purple would be nice. But really, this color scheme is really nice because it allows you to really take control over how it looks and how you would like it to look yourself. Cool, I'm gonna leave this as purple here. And as you can see, now when we're changing tabs, we get that nice accent pop into the ripple. Cool, so this is how you change the UI theme in Atom. 
And as you can see, Atom Material allows for a whole bunch of nice settings that allow you to totally tweak it. And a lot of these themes are going to come with their own settings packages to further allow you to modify what they are looking and interacting like. So if you're enjoying these Atom videos and you want to get them before they're released, you can purchase them at store.leveluptutorials.com as a pre-release and help support the creation of these free tutorials. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to hit me up at Twitter or Facebook, love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.